hi welcome to the another video first of all i want to say thank you to you all you love my videos god bless you uh, these are you guys who's giving me encouragement to make these kind of video and i'm just helping uh, because when you're going to make the money and you're going to take care of your family this is uh, is rewarding isn't it uh, so please remember me in your prayer uh, nowadays too many people are they getting their pco license they are lucky people because they are getting their pco license after passing topographical tests within a month or two months um, well done so when you start working please be careful uh, i may i will make the series of the videos which is going to be helpful for the new drivers and which will helpful for the servo assessment because these question you will get in a servo assessment which is going to be you face in your daily life means when you're going to work uh, taxi um, as a private hire so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon because when i put the new video you will get the notification uh, so in this video um, i will share one uh, experience of my previous student he got his pco license he have been working a, a more about a month and he got blocked from the uber uh why uh, so i'm gonna share his story uh, he got a job from the gatwick airport he picked the passenger uh, and uh, when he got outside from the uh, airport so uh, let me tell you more thing one more thing so please get the good phone and get the good sim which has a good internet so what happened to him uh, his navigation was there was no signal and as navigation was a stop and he was a new driver and confused as well what to do so he just stopped on the road on the side road uh, then um, this was unfortunate for him the police came police was passing by and they stop uh, and say why you stop you cannot stop here then they told him my navigation is not working uh, then the customer noticed these things and um, next thing what happened then he put the waste then uh, then he went from the rural area means there was not busy he went to from the uh, too many streets and because of these two things customer complained to uber and because of this uh, thing his uh, account was blocked this is uh, small is not his fault but i can give you some advice what to do so first advice yeah um, get some experience try to get first uh, smaller jobs in your area when you get it uh, these account activated so please try to get uh, the smaller job in you in your area uh, where where you know the roads that's going to be very good for you and if you're a confidence then you can go to the longer job or airports or if you alone just go to the airport you have to pay five pound maybe for pickup uh, because you have to pay it just go for the experience because you have to get the experience otherwise it's going to be difficult uh, when your account is blocked um, so yeah get good mobile and the sim uh, good sim as well check online uh, some has a good internet internet uh, so what happen if your navigation is not working so please use your common sense do not stop it just keep going keep driving uh, maybe you can you can uh, pick up within a 30 second 10 second this happened to me as well many many times so I keep driving it. So when it's going to be a strong uh, signal, uh, then it will pick up quickly. So don't worry about that. Do not stop. But if it's safe to stop, you sure you can stop, then you can stop it. And ask for the customer as well politely. My navigation is not working. Uh, so please allow me to set up. Just speak with the customer politely. Okay. Then he took the longer route. Uh, so this is the hint as well. Um, so when you pick the passenger, when I pick the passenger, when I start the job, I ask from the passenger politely. Okay, uh, if you know, I, I ask from the passenger, uh, if you know the area, I'm going to use Google map. But if you know the area, then you can uh, guide me as well. And if there's a new customer, then he don't know the area, then you can ask him, uh, look, in this map, it is telling me about one and a half hour or let's say 30 minutes, 40 minutes. But you can tell him I know the way. With the shortest way we can cover this distance uh, in one hour we can save 20 minutes ask politely then the customer say okay uh, i can do is fine you can uh, follow uh, your way uh, in this way the customer will not in doubt 
otherwise they say oh where are you going um, because we don't know these kind of who is sitting with us so be careful uh, so yeah these are the two things happen uh, to that uh, uh, with my student his unfortunately his account was blocked so you be careful please uh, I know you're excited I was excited when I got my PC license but I was working first with the uh, private minicab office that was good in Richmond area Putney area I was living there as well so I got a lot of experience because of that uh, I because when you work in the minicab if they complain is is fine uh, yeah I just uh, struck a lot of time as well when I go to the airports as well one day I waited for the 40 minutes because I lost my car because I went to the airport first time I didn't know there is a lot of lifts so when I park my car I say oh this is a lift my car is in, in front of the lift then I pick the passenger when I come back I was uh, came out from the different lift then uh, I thought my car should be there um, but I looking everywhere I couldn't find the car oh, then I realized when I walk there's um, too many lifts there so yeah so you learn uh, with experience uh, yeah so please uh, subscribe to my channel in the next video I will uh, explain uh, the uh, picking uh, passengers from the airport then uh, picking passenger can you stop the car in the double yellow line and double uh, red line single length, uh, red line so I will explain what to do in this case because you are sending me uh, messages so if you need to ask any question or if you want me to make a video uh, so please write in the comments uh, so thank you so much and god bless you